the surgery went extremely well. There were no complications. She should sleep through the night. Thank God. Now, you remember from the last time, the most important thing is that you rest up as well so that you can be ready when she needs you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harry. Thank you for everything. Thank you. You two should go home and be with your family. I'll be here if she wakes up. No, that isn't necessary. No, actually it is. I spoke to Faith and Nat earlier. They were both, uh, they were both pretty worried seeing both of us at home a lot. How about we come back and relieve you? I still haven't been able to track down Luke. I was happy to hear that he showed up at the hospital. You know, he's been keeping to himself so much lately. Do you blame him? After being expelled, Noah, he probably doesn't want to face anyone. Do you think that we should have pushed him harder, you know, about getting a job, looking into other colleges? You know, I think what he needs right now is time and space so that he can figure out why he did something so self-destructive. It's not like this hasn't happened before. When my mother got cancer the first time, and Luke was drinking, and we didn't even know about it. Yeah, I know he's down, but I don't believe that he'll go there. I hope not. Lily, don't worry. He'll bounce back. I think what we need to do right now is just let Luke be. Let him put his life back together in his own way. I still haven't seen that ID you keep telling me about. <laughs> My name is Ben Franklin. Oh, hey, you ready to get your butt kicked? That sounds kinky. In a friendly way. Is that Luke? For a guy who isn't supposed to be drinking, he looks pretty hammered. He's not even old enough to get served. Hey, Luke, what's up? <laughs> it's my partner in crime, Casey Hughes. <laughs> Ah. Pull up a chair. The drinks are on me. Well, what's the occasion? Oh, you ought to know. You got kicked out of college, too. I bet you didn't, didn't get dumped on top of it. Hey, hey, slow down. Slow down, man. Hey. I'm just having a little bit of fun. Do either of you have a problem with that? She woke up? But the doctor said that she'd be asleep for hours. Uh, you know how Lucinda likes to prove people wrong. <sighs> I wish I'd been there. She was pretty out of it. Will you call me if she wakes up again? Definitely. Either way, I'll be in touch in a few hours. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for calling. Your mother woke up already? Yeah. 
And Brian was right there to play the devoted caregiver. You know what? I think we should be grateful that your mother has a friend like him to help her get through this. Extraordinary. You're still here. For the duration. Uh -huh. What does it take to get rid of you? More punch than you're packing at the moment. Uh-huh. Here. Uh-huh. Drink. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've arranged for your first post-op meal. Oh, no food, no food. Well, Music. No <laughs> when food. you're ready, I'm going to fly in the top chef from your favorite restaurant who's going to whip you up your heart's desire. And then as soon as you're out of here, <laughs> I'm going to take you to the most amazing... Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just stop talking and let you rest for a while. Okay, no food. No food. Just music. Music be the food of love. Oh, you see, I knew you wanted me around. Oh, time's wasting. I don't know how much time I have left. I, I may be too late. Too late? Mm. Russ, kiss me. Can you kiss me? Not at home. I better not. Mm. You don't need to be drinking anymore. Stop. Dump that. Casey. What the hell was that for, man? All right, that's it. You three, out. Come on, man. You can't get behind the wheel right Stop now. Stop preaching at me. You're a bigger screw up than I am. So are you. Come on, Queen. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> what? You can deal it, but you can't take it. Look, look, I know things seem really bad right Yeah, now, they but... suck right now. My life sucks. And I don't need you two losers trying to fix it. Look, don't, don't. It's not, it's not you can't let him just go like that. He could really hurt himself. Listen, if you're calling me again to ream me out for telling the dean, I'm not hearing it. Stop! I, I did it! It's Luke. What about him? He's in trouble. He needs you. People who have faced breast cancer know the importance of early detection. It can save your life. Get the facts. CBS cares. On the next As the World Turns. Sponsored by V8. Make every serving count. Damn it, Noah! You can't walk out on me! Why don't we throw ourselves a wedding, a shotgun wedding? Why don't we do it right now and right here? 